bonjour et comme vous faites-il aujourd'hui? Uh, today we're going to go with a French theme. We're doing a beef bourguignon. Apologies, I did in the original advertisement. I said we were doing vegetarian, but we'll be do that, doing that next week when uh, my vegetarian daughter can join us. So we're all ready to go. A bit of a French theme. I've got a nice glass of pastis and a, a kind of themed top as well. Kit down here as usual. Come over here and have a look at the ingredients, see what we're going to be cooking with today. So to start with, we've got some lovely beef. That's brisket in there, readily available, chunks, sort of inch cube chunks. Um, we've got some thyme, we've got some bay leaves, and we've got some salt and pepper. And there's a bottle of red wine gone in there already. There's a bit left in there. There you go. And that's been marinating like that for the best part of 18 hours. And we've got some fantastic, lovely pancetta there. It's going to give it a nice saltiness and smokiness. Um, some onion, shallots and garlic. Some lovely chestnut mushrooms there. Um, got some beef and bacon dripping in there, which is melting nicely in the sun. That's left over from stuff in the last couple of days. Beef stock. We're going to be thickening with flour today and obviously a bit of oil to top up the, uh, the fat. So I'm going to get this thing lit um, and we'll see in a little while when we get started. Bienvenue and uh, we're ready to start cooking now. Uh, come and have a look. I'm going to put the, the dripping into the poiki and top that up with some oil. That's really hot now. So we're going to get plenty of that going. If you come in here, I see I've actually drained the meat of the uh, marinating wine. So the marinating wine can go in later. But that's been drying out the meat. I'm going to season that, give that a good season. A bit of salt, a bit of black pepper. And again, as we've done most of, most of the time, we're going to do about three or four bits of this meat at a time. And really all you're doing is sealing it, giving it a bit of colour. This is a sizzle. Oh dear, be careful dropping that in, by the way. That can really bounce back. Four bits of that in. We'll give it a sizzle round. Move that out of the way. And when that's sealed on all sides, you can see that one is, that's going to come out. So I'm going to get through all this stuff, and then you can come back and see us get the veg in. Um, too tired. Hello. Right, so that last piece of beef, that's coming out. Look at that, all nice and browned. Now I'm going to just top up the oil a little bit. There. Just get in and now we're going in with our veg. Remember what we've got here, we've got some shallots, some onions to make it up a little bit and there's, there's pretty much a bulb of garlic in there chopped up as well. That's going in now, we wear the splash back. Give that a nice big whirly swirly. Nice, and then we're going to go in with this pancetta as well. Let's just get it in. Uh, we might have to increase the heat at some point by adding some more coals. So let's get it in and see if we can keep that going. Right, I'm going to put the lid on for a little while and let that kind of just heat down and we'll be back in a few moments. Okay, so we're nearly there with those things. Lovely. I'm just going to put a bit of butter in there just to kind of give it a bit of richness. Only a little bit also to, to soak up the, the thickener. So butter's gone in there. Give that a quick stir in so it melts in. Next we're going in with some flour. Let's see, I think we need probably two of those and give it a go. So you're looking for some kind of paste here. That's pretty good actually. I'm probably just going a little bit for luck. To be honest. There we go. So flour's in there. That's just going to cook for a minute or two and then we'll come back and we'll finish making the, the sauce. Bienvenue en Encore, come and have a look, that's all cooked down nicely. We're now going to get the liquids going. Remember we've drained that wine off, so that wine there is going in. Wow. Okay, we've got the herbs we talked about, we've got some bay leaves and some lovely thyme. We're just going to lob that in, that's all been used to marinate the beef, so we can chuck that in. Some stock cubes, so we're talking about these are three quarter pint stock cubes, so I'm going to chuck a couple of these in and then we'll probably add a pint of a bit of water. You can watch through that. Come and have a look inside, see what it's shaping up like. And then we're going to add some water. We need to stir this just to close the thickness of it. Yeah, looking pretty good. I don't want too much of this. Maybe just a... Yeah, you don't want too much. I think that's probably fine. And now all we've got to do is put this meat back in. Right, 
right and those last two there lovely give, give that a bit of a stir and we're going to just get this don't want to waste that flavor that's going to go in there now i'm happy with that just get checked out have that magical time when you uh, pull on the lid, pick up your pasties, it's probably hot, no that's okay, yes, it is. Um, put that on, pick up your pasties and leave it for a few hours and we'll come back, we'll go put the mushrooms in a bit later. We have a new uh, 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 encore, uh, come have a look, we're looking and putting the mushroom, oh wow, sacre bleu, so that's fine, absolutely perfect, look we're going to give that a bit of a stir around you can see how amazing that's looking so what we're going to do is pop the mushrooms on top we're about two hours in probably a bit more actually two and a quarter hours we've probably got about 45 minutes to go i'm just going to pop those in the hole i haven't pre-fried or anything they'll be absolutely fine they'll just get on the top there nice little pattern i was going to add more water if we needed it but we don't need it so that's going to be absolutely fine obviously a bit of water in the mushrooms will come out that's fine lid back on Another 45 minutes, hour, and then we'll be uh, ready to serve. Bonsoir, prêt à manger. Come have a look. It's looking pretty good. So I'm just going to do a quick. There you go. We're going to do one of those. Where does it go here? There you go. Birth bourguignon. Bonsoir,